Wheelite have sent us something to play with. Um, Wheelite have sent us a Ninja 300. This is the instructions. This is the Ninja 300. Now, you're asking yourselves, what am I going to do with a uh, studio light? Well, to be honest, that can come in very, very handy when I'm in a situation like this. As you can see, my camera is on auto and it's trying to pick up my, you know, the light from me. It's trying to illuminate me the best I can. And what I want to try and do is prove to you by using something like this, how easy it is to light me in my van and still get the ambient light. Because as you can see, the ambient light is blown to pieces at the moment. So I'm going to set this up, set this little rig up in front of me and then I'm going to use my GoPro to show you how I'm going to use it. Now, I'm just going to run over a quick spec for it first before I start. Um, no, I'm not. I'm going to set it up. Let me set it up. I'm going to show you the difference between this and now. To get the ambient light, I need to switch my camera. If I can do it, I need to switch my camera. It won't let me do it while I'm recording. I'm going to stop recording and I'll put my... Now I've just put my camera into manual mode and you can see the sky and the outside ambient light is absolutely fantastic. But I am blown out. That is where this thing here is going to come in handy. So I'm going to set this up now and show you the difference to keep the ambient light and to use my camera in manual mode and illuminate myself. So as you can see now I've got um, my light on and it's illuminating my face. So I'm actually lighting up the inside of my van a little bit now. Now this works off of a Bluetooth app as well. I can actually use this through my phone and if I do a bit of a screenshot for you, let's um, just let's start recording and we can go. At the moment I've got the light turned down quite low. You can see I've got the screen open. If I just go back one, uh, it gives you a different array of different things. So I've just gone basically into the first one. Uh, the color temperature is actually set on this machine. There are other machines that do different colors and different color ranges the color temperature on this machine on the Ninja 300 is set at uh, 5600 Kelvin that's what it's actually set up at now the way I'm using this and let me just show you what I'm doing first the way I'm actually using this and I'm going to turn this on so you can see what we're doing there's you looking at me I am in my van there's the light as you can see it's up there and I've got a small uh, small diffuser on the front of it and it's on a stand as you can see there I'm using the uh, Ulanzi MT90 49 stand for it and uh, basically that's just now shining down onto my face and I'm using my Jackery to power it so I'm plugged in there with the Jackery it's running down the back there onto the uh, power pack and then it's running up to the back of the uh, unit so as you can see it's uh, pretty good so let's just press stop on there so I can adjust the power. While I'm sitting here, I can turn the power right down. 16, I can turn it right up, all the way up to 80. Okay, I can go right up to 100. If I bang it up to 100, you can see it's a really, really quite a bright light. And if I just turn my face slightly so I'm catching this side of my face, you can see that it works really, really well to illuminate the inside of the van. And I'm still getting this ambient light on the outside, so I'm balancing the light. Now I can move this round in front of me, or to my right hand side, or I could even have a second light, a fill light on the other side of the van as well. Um, but the fact that I can use this mobile is a really, really good idea. So I'm going to turn it back down to about 50% and uh, leave it on that for now. So let's just press stop on my recording on my screen. And let me give you some specs of what we got and what this thing can actually do. Um, right, so it's got a, a brightness from 0 to 100 adjustable. You can adjust it on the back as well. There is a little dial on the back and I'll show you that in a moment. Uh, there's a little dial on the back, you can just turn it up and down very, very easily. Um, you've also got a max luminous at, a max luminous flux, if that means anything to you, of 7800 LM. Um, I don't know what a luminous flux is. I know what lumens are, but I'm not sure what a luminous flux is. Power max is 80 watts, and I'm running it off my Jackery, and my Jackery is telling me it's running at 62 watts at the moment on the on what I've got it on, which is fine, not a problem at all. Um, channels one to nine, so you've got different channels. If you've got more than one light and you want to set up different lights, you have got some different channels. I'm just going to pump up the light a little bit brighter. Um, Yes, yeah, so you've got different channels um, that you can use different lights on it. Um, so, you know, you can have more than one different light running off different channels and adjust them separately, especially when you're using an app on your phone to do it with. Um, in groups of six as well, so you've got A, B, C, D, E, and F. Um, so you can set up groups of lights as well, which is pretty cool. Um, AC adapter, DC 18 volts and uh, 5 amps. 
and you get a remote control now you, you can actually get a remote control for this and uh, the remote control is sold separately it's an RC11 remote control and what that will do is give you a remote rather than using your phone if you don't want to use your phone it gives you a remote control to actually adjust it and I'm looking at myself as well and the Calvin's quite a nice warm color as well it's quite a nice tone battery now you can actually use batteries on this now I've got it come with a battery adapter as you can see here it comes with this little battery adapter and I bought a battery um, to attach to it and what I didn't realize is you have to have two batteries so I only bought one I'm definitely going to be getting another battery um, the battery I bought was this one uh, if you want to know what it is uh, um, I'll put it in the description for you it was about 26 pound for a battery and basically you screw this to the side of the unit and again I'm going to show you all that in a moment when I switch it off and uh, turn my camera around uh, you switch you screw this to the side of the camera and you then lock your batteries in like that so you can actually use it as a mobile battery you get a little cord that that goes with that is a WB2 that's your battery adapter uh, uh, that comes with it as well also that comes with it in the box in the package is a handle and I haven't had this handle out yet so if you're using it uh, remotely and um, you want to move moving around like I did a wedding last weekend and this would have been brilliant for the wedding last weekend but it was so gorgeous so nice that I really didn't need to use it so I've just first time had this out of the box there's your handle so again I'm going to show you that in a moment as well your handle is really really this is a lovely feeling handle really really nice grip you've got a quarter inch thread on the front which is great because you can attach that to a standard um, cold shoe and you can attach that cold shoe a uh, Arca Swiss style plate and you can attach that to a tripod and in your camera your light will attach to the front there so that's a very very good idea because I didn't realize oh and you've got a quarter inch on the bottom as well I brought my stand with me a proper light stand and you don't need one you can use a standard tripod absolutely brilliant that is a really good idea uh, what else do we get in the box we also got this in the box this is a VP5 now the VP5 it looks to me as though it's some kind of um, adapter for your softbox so you can adapt a softbox to it and it's very easy to clip on all these things are very easy to clip on right okay so this will attach an umbrella okay so I've got umbrellas I can use for this so you can put a screw in the side there you can attach an umbrella to that this then drops onto your mount uh, you can then tilt it backwards and forwards and then your camera will actually lock on the front of this okay so there's a di few different ways to actually work this and I think you could probably find you can buy a um, big diffuser to go on the front of this as well so they give you the adapter to do all that as well now I'm just looking in the box to make sure I haven't missed anything in the box like a big diffuser or anything like that but the box is brilliant it's a great size box and you've got a, a camera strap in it as well so you can carry it over your shoulder loads of room in that box to put everything or the bag should i say right now i'm going to turn this off and i'm just going to attach these things to you and show you how it all work mobile even though i haven't got a second battery but i'm going to rig it up and just give you a, an idea of what it can do right so here's a unit um, i've taken it off the stand now you can still see i've got the power plug plugged into it this is your handle your handle will then screw in the side there the same as you would attach it to your um, mount you've now got a handle to hand hold the light which is a brilliant idea now the front clips on very very easy like that it literally does slide it into the slots and it locks in very 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 simple there's a little button on the side there to undo it and take it off so that's your unit as you can see there's a very powerful LED um, and I'm now going to try and attach the front of this and just want to I'm interested to see what it does and how it works so this would then drop on like that and you can have this set to a on a light stand as well and you can have an umbrella through there so you can actually fire it backwards and bounce it off of an umbrella gives you a more softer light you can obviously probably adapt a uh, diffuser to the front of that as well so that's very very good very easy and that comes unclipped it's so quick it's so quick the way this clips together absolutely brilliant I've got things like this in the past and they're not very good at all so on the back of it can you see on the back of that there so I'm going to turn this on I don't want to blind myself on the back of it there you get the full display screen and you can see that by turning it up and down so if I turn it on to a very low power you can see it's lighting up behind me and then as I grow up the power it starts to build up the power and with it being so front and close to me, I'm not going to turn it on too brightly. You can see the display on there, and it really is quite a good little display. It gives you all the information you need to know. There are your channels on there. By pressing the uh, button on the back, 
you can actually, you can't see me very well can you, but um, by pressing the button on the back you can go through to your channels and uh, different things. Now what this also does, this has got some other features to it as well and I'm going to have to put it back on the light stand so uh, I can show you what they do. Um, but that's pretty cool. I'm just going to knock it off for a second. I just want to connect this and uh, show you what the battery does so I don't have to use the power pack even though I do because I haven't got two batteries, I've only got one. Right, so we've attached the battery pack to the side now, so you can see I've got it on a handle. This is now a totally mobile light. The battery pack is attached to the side with two screws, it won't come undone, and the batteries don't come out. They don't fall out and they won't fall off, okay? So they really, really are attached very, very well. You get the little power cable and that drops into the back. If I do switch it on, you'll see on the back it comes up with low battery. You can only just about probably make it out on the back there. It's coming up with low battery because I've only got one battery, even though that's fully charged. It's fully charged, you do two batteries to actually power this unit, which is not a problem, both 26 pound each. If you can get a couple of batteries, um, you can use this mobile. It's really, really good. And it gives you a, an output on the side there. It tells you how much the battery power is left in there, in, to, in these units. Um, and that just literally does just screw on the side. So it makes it a very mobile light, especially if you're going out and doing studio light, um, even street photography or something like that. If you want to get really, well, portraiture, that's what it's all for, and it's, it's for portraiture. So you can hold the light up and have it in different places. So if I unplug this and put my power adapter back in and it's an awful lot of waffle I do a lot of waffling when I do these sort of things turn the power on let's go back to normal okay and you can see that I've got now this power mobile power that I can move around and have it exactly where I want it and shining exactly where I want to shine it right so let's put this back on the stand I want to show you one more thing Right, welcome back. Again now, we've adjusted it, we've got the light in front of our face and we've got the nice ambient light outside as well working, so everything should be working just fine. So I just want to show you a couple of other things that you can do with this, um, and I need to, I'm, I'm practicing as well, so let me just hit the old uh, record button so you can see what I'm doing when I'm doing it. This also has uh, special effects. Now I've probably got them on this bit of paper, but it's not really easy for me to read. So I'm just gonna try and do this um, live for you. Um, so you've got some effects. So if we go into the effects, we can try different things. You can see it's already started to flash. It's doing different things. So what it's trying to do at the moment, I can't see what it's trying to do at the moment, but I'm gonna flick onto one. This is burst, okay? So basically you can put it on. If you're doing video effects, it gives you a burst of light. We've also got a uh, flash lamp. So it's flashing a lamp. We've got blinking, we've got flash, we've got weld. So it looks like we're welding. So if you're doing a videography and stuff like that, this is really good. We've got uh, candle light, so it look like a candle. Flame, TV, so it looks like the TV's flickering in the background. Um, fireworks, probably won't work because we haven't got any color on this one um, but yeah it's a, there's different there's different effects that this will do and I'm probably sure I can find them on the screen as well um, but this is what I'm just working off of what I've got on my phone and uh, you can also adjust the speed you can have it faster or slower so that's flickering really quickly or you can turn it right down and have it flickering slowly typical that isn't it absolutely typical that my um, battery died on my camera so i had to stop recording yeah um i'm not a, a, i'm not a big light user i'm not i'm not someone that knows a lot about lights and stuff like that but this i think is a really really good light i've got studio lights at home i used to do a photo booth and stuff like that so i've used studio lights this would be a fantastic idea because it's a nice fixed light you can set it up and you can get it to work really really well if you're into videography and you want to use video lights this is a brilliant way of um doing that as well so that's all i want to do just show you that um, really impressed really really like it nice and lightweight nice and easy to use and um, yeah till next time ciao for now any questions pop them in the comments below um, and i'll try and do my best to find out and ask for you um, but yeah i think it's a really really good product i haven't got the price on me so the price is going up on the screen for you and i'll also put a link in the description and a link on the screen ciao for now see you soon Bye bye